Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the midweek Premier League review. I'm gonna do Premier League first and Serie A second because I actually want to use the fact that I'm putting up the Italian shirts to shoot a Serie A jersey review sometime soonish so but let's see. I'm swamped with stuff but I will probably try to squeeze that in somewhere. Uh, in any case I mean in many ways we can say nothing new up top I mean all the big three uh, winning some more some less convincing and we have a three-way title race which I think is super super exciting at the moment uh, I do have I'm a little bit afraid that one of those has just a higher ceiling and I'm looking at the team from Manchester uh, that they might just uh, you know turbocharge it and like last season go away but because I fear that, and I'm wearing Liverpool, uh, that Liverpool cannot keep up their goal scoring form. And yeah, I, I think Chelsea is maybe the least convincing at the moment of the three. However, their defensive solidity is something that could maybe carry them forward more. Gotta see. It will be, I, I think it's a very, very interesting race. Interesting will be, of course, also. Now that Ralf Rangnick is confirmed as United coach, what will he do? How will he do? And how will Manchester United end up doing? Uh, I think they got a pretty big result yesterday where uh, that actually will allow them to challenge at least for fourth spot. Where squad-wise they definitely should belong, to be honest. Uh, I saw for this week, I mostly saw, I only saw highlights, not mostly, I only saw highlights. I had a brief thought of doing the, uh, of watching United against Arsenal and then decided I'll do the Ballon d'Or video instead. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit of a loser there, but you know, I, I think it's a fun video that I did there. So uh, watch that one if you want it. So uh, just a little bit of perspective. Uh, my, my perspective on the games that, that we had, I mean, I, as I said, I saw highlights of four games. Uh, I've Leeds United finally getting a win. Newcastle and Norwich only uh, won one. I think Norwich even was a man up. That's a bottom of the table clash. And it seems really that both teams are destined to go down, which... Uh, this is just weird, especially for Newcastle. Uh, Southampton, Leicester, 2-2. Uh, Chelsea had more trouble with Watford than what we would expect. And from, from what I hear, Watford even won the XG battle. Um, yes, Mason Mount gave Chelsea the lead, but Dennis more than deserved equalized. It was only in the second half that Chelsea then kind of got a little bit of grip on the game. And, uh, you know, bring uh, Zieg and Lukaku on. Uh, and then... Sieg actually scores the winner, which I thought this was a pretty good goal. So yeah, Chelsea, as I said, not the most convincing. And I think Tuchel even said that they stole the win. But on the other side, there is a certain consistency about them that it seems a little bit undeniable at the moment. But, and, you know, Lukaku was in, in, injured. I think Chelsea has another gear in them. Uh, speaking of uh, uh, another gear... Yeah, I'm now jump, uh, jumping over two, two games where West Ham won one against Brighton. Yeah, West Ham, I think West, West Ham will tail off now a little bit. But speaking of another gear, I think uh, Man Manchester City, I have the feeling they have more than one gear left. I think they are absolutely, uh, they can really turn to turn it on. And you saw it in a way that they can beat you in so many ways. First half, Arpon Grealish's return to Villa. Uh, they were the dominant team and really deserved their two-goal lead uh, there. Uh, Ruben Dias getting the first one, then one of the sweetest counter uh, attacks that, that you will ever see is uh, capped off by a brilliant Bernardo Silva strike. Uh, to make it to uh, two to it and City really really show it. I mean, this is not a City goal, a counter attacking goal, but the way this was played, it was brilliantly character forward played over. I'm everything picture perfect. Oli Watkins pulls one back, and then Villa was actually in the game. Uh, even Grealish came on a little a little bit later. I don't quite get why he needed to be whistled. I mean, he comes on the 87. You know, it is not. I know Villa probably think of them a bigger club, but I think uh, Grealish was just getting too big for Villa. And you got a lot of money in return for So I honestly think he definitely will always be a Villa guy. So I don't get why uh, there were some whistles. 
Then to the destruction of the weekend where Everton, I mean, just taken to the sword by Liverpool. And Liverpool at the moment pro probably is the most exciting team team to watch because they go full on full steam over the opponents and try to score early and in quick succession. And they have the brilliance, especially of a Mo Salah at the moment, who uh, is playing out of his mind in many ways. Um, if he would have played that uh, or early on, we will talk about... <laughs> I come back to the Ballon d'Or. I don't care about the Ballon d'Or, but I, th I, I think that at the moment Mo Salah is definitely a, a Ballon d'Or candidate uh, that way. The way he takes the first goal in, in the 9th and 9th minute, <laughs> just brilliant. Um, and people then already leaving the game. I mean, that, that's another thing, especially in the Premier League. I mean, the tickets cost already so much. And yes, you're disappointing uh, because of your game, but come on. You paid uh, a premium amount and you throw it away by leaving early. I'm not sure that this is so smart. Yeah, whatever. Who, who, who am I? I, 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 I had to judge. I mean, uh, it was only 1-2 at halftime, but as soon as Salah and then especially Jota, the way he, another great great goal. I mean, this was a game full, 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 full great goals. I still probably prefer the Bernardo Silva uh, goal because the way it was played, but uh, Liverpool scored some outstanding goals in that uh, game as well and fully deserved it. They are a class above Everton. And I don't know, um, Everton to me is a team that belongs up there. Uh, it's probably hard to a hard environment to grow when you have Liverpool and then the two Manchester teams uh, ne next door and maybe a strategy is also missing. I think you should have hired Ralf Gangnick, to be honest. So yeah, uh, Spurs 2-0 over Brentford um, and then United big 3-2 win over Arsenal in what I hear is a very entertaining game. What I saw the highlight, it was very entertaining. Um, I cannot deny that I found myself a little bit i mean atkinson as a referee i always think he is kind of a dinosaur that is to be faded out in in, in a way and i'm not talk, talk, talking about the first goal uh because yeah i think he saw that the goalkeeper was lying and and, and he judged it first uh, whether there was a foul by an arsenal player on the hair and so he let the goal stand so that is a good gold call but i think he missed the penalty for arsenal uh, and then also the penalty that then uh, United got. He also missed that one initially. And I'm thinking, come on, that was pretty obvious from first watching that this was a penalty. Um, but yeah, Arsenal from what I hear had more of the game overall. However, uh, United scored, of course, the, the, the goals. And if you have Bruno Fernandes and especially Cristiano, uh, that is always what they are going to have. And then if Odegaard, who scored the equalizer after uh, Chris, uh, Cristiano makes it to uh, to two one turns from hero to zero by making this stupid tackle uh in the box allowing cristiano to uh score his 800th goal that is a pretty remarkable uh, a remarkable mark and i guess at least in the thumb in the thumb i should put 800 because i think it's i am not a cristiano fanboy but that is remarkable to be honest so yeah uh, United get a big win over Arsenal uh, and Ralf Rangnick is coming and I think this is the most uh, interesting thing to look forward to. Uh, I think he his first game is against Crystal Palace so that's kind of in, in interesting. And then Everton Arsenal, the Ateta derby. Uh, I think though that the big one in, in a way but I'm a little bit afraid that West, the West Ham is really falling away. We were West Ham United against Chelsea. I think that will be a very interesting game as well. Uh, Liverpool at Wolves and City at Watford. So those are, yeah, it's maybe not the greatest of rounds, but it's least interesting to look forward to. For more, you will get a stats cast very late, um, probably if not tomorrow. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please drop a line below if you want to add anything uh, to what I said here. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell, so in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.